Hey gamers, today we're going to be playing some more Undertale Last Corridor. Right now we're facing a sand, so let's just have a nice peaceful start. I just got into this server, so you have to understand that I'm currently running Stick Kindness. This will of course be changed as soon as the round's over. I just need to beat up this sands. Two of us survived, and now he kind of just loses. GG. All right, here we go. We're fighting Outer Tail now. I do only have one life left as they were killing me as I was pressing record, which is neat. I'm surprised they went for the person who was not moving. I guess they just wanted the easy kill. Considering they've suddenly just started sparing us though, and they aren't attacking that person who isn't moving, I'm not sure what they're doing. But hey, they're gonna spare us. There's going to be some easy kills. Oh wait, you changed your mind about sparing? This is pretty intense gameplay, I'm pretty sure. Person refusing to play the game, they try they joined and tried to play. Alright, we're recording. They tried to kill me while I was hitting on poles, that's neat. But it's fine. Because they're playing revenge. I mean, who really takes revenge seriously? Like, sure, they already did 30 damage to me because I messed up once. But they have FL, which means I have nothing to worry about. I haven't seen them pull out their new move, and it seems like they don't know that their bone spin does absolutely nothing, which is neat. Oh yes, their hidden technique where they AFK periodically. I am frightened. Wait, where did they- Oh, I want to change the perspective. I can totally beat this person from alternative perspective. And because he stopped moving, I got an easy hit on him. Maybe this has a real bad computer. I figured I'd take away their jump really quick. They seem to like to jump occasionally. And I win. And it looks like they left because they lost. That's unfortunate. Alright, now let's kill some enemies. Seems we have some enemies over there. They should be easy to kill though. Starting off with this one. Yeah, no, they aren't a threat. Let me focus on the real threat here. There you go. Now that you're all I have to worry about. And they're already down alive.
barely lost... let's see. I, I didn't even go down 25%, I don't think. 25% is 50, right? So maybe I barely lost 25% of my stamina. That's nothing. Alright, they are now using Killer Sands as well. And also, someone by the name of I Am Dallas has joined us. Gotta love people who attack two seconds after you move away and they still hit you. Ooh, that was a real bad play on my part. I should have known better. Oh, we got an AFK here. Maybe I can use that to my favor. To my advantage. There we go. I did. I got a single extra hit. Thanks to the AFK. I don't have any teammates. And this is one of the most difficult matchups for having no teammates. Oh, but I still won because I never used Homicide. They might have had a chance should had they used it. Also, they left, so now I need to find a new server. Alrighty, now we're facing the Killer Sands. He's gonna open up one of his two blasters. I only have one teammate, so it's gonna be like my earlier Killer Sands match. Okay, General Cookie's already hitting at least one attack. That's all I can really ask for. And now Killer is out of blasters already. They kind of burned through those, wasting on them. Nothing really. And they never used their homicide. Oh, I bet they were new to Killer. That's probably it. And now, I'm the Killer. You know what? Get over here. I don't feel like working. And now, hold on, on I'll grant you a proper death. There you go. And they chose a weaker character in hopes that the weaker character will be able to beat me, I guess. Well, here we go. Under fell sands time. Well, if you're just gonna burn up all your stamina over there, I'm not even gonna walk up to you. Like, seriously, what reason do I have to approach you if you're just going to attack on your own? I have no reason to actually get near you. See? They're already in phase 2 because they spent so much time just wasting their attacks. Oh look, who's the killer? You better be careful, otherwise you might get killed. We don't want that now, do we? Well, that was a uh, round. Really? You're using Fell again? You couldn't use literally anyone else that'd be more interesting? Come on. I, I would prefer to see a story shift right now, just so I could beat them. Tell you what, I'll make it interesting for myself and handicap myself. It's like players in this game don't realize they're supposed to humor me. That's like the one purpose of playing this game, is to make it so I'm having fun. And you're already low on stamina, come on. 
shouldn't burn through your stamina. That's never a good idea. Alright, are you gonna run away? Okay, fine, run away. I'm not gonna actually bother trying to kill them. Like, it's incredibly easy to kill someone. They get a debuff effect for speed. They just genuinely think that they can get away. They, they're just... I don't get it. I could kill them so easily. And yet they consider it to be an achievement to waste a 100 of their seconds. They don't even get experience for drawing. What, are you gonna change your mind? No, you're gonna run over there. Okay. Right. Maybe you'll drive to that. Oh, looks like a stream I want to watch. We just started, so I'm actually gonna take a break. I'll kill this guy in a few seconds. I'm gonna waste his time and then kill him. First, it's going to start running away. Alright. Yeah, I want to watch this stream, so I'll see you all when I unfalls. And slightly more likely to dodge. Yeah. All right, I'm back from my break, and now it's time to obliterate this killer. Get over here, killer. Oh no, he just used his left click move. That's pretty terrifying. But you know what's more terrifying? A change of perspective. Yeah, this guy's a real gamer. He should already know that a change of perspective is going to be wacky for everyone involved. Whoa, it's, one of us is lagging, it's making combat pretty awkward. There you go, got a couple of hits on him. There goes the homie. He used the homie. And now that he used the homie, I'm gonna use the Tommy Slog. And that's game. Alright. Alright. It's time to obliterate some foes, shall we? Oh, these people don't want to fight me, do they? Can I please chop one and or each of you up? There you go, I killed great. I just killed the stick user. The stick user with determination, what? 
a hold up. Deter stick. What's with this determination stick? I'm thrown off. Is this the new meta? Determination stick. And that's game. It appears my current opponent wants to give me an easy win, so they've chosen to play Underfell, despite the fact they have access to every character on the roster. Isn't that pretty wacky? Alright. One hit to Fell, and they're already injured. That's kind of how injuries work. If you hit someone, they end up being injured, at least mildly. Okay, this is too easy. Let's handicap. Where am I? There I am. And that's another game. It appears this person's playing under f or uh, outer, probably because they have 32 wins. If I were to hazard a theory. Of course, it's not going to matter much for my slash attack. Look at this amateur. They aren't even trying to dodge, which is drastically increasing damage taken. Oh goodness, I wasn't looking. We started already. Hopefully he didn't kill me already. I'm assuming I have two lives left. Guess I could try to play without dying. Oh wait, no no, I don't need to play without dying. I need to handicap myself. Oof. It's so weird playing at these alternate perspectives. Goodness. I'm trying to keep up with Sans. I at least used both of those at once. That's neat. I can't seem to land a hit on him. This handicap is devastating. Then they can hit me where I'm no longer standing. I'm playing with this handicap. I'm not taking the handicap off. This game's too easy without the handicap. I need the handicap for any real challenge to occur. Problem is that Chinese isn't exactly trying too hard to win. Like, look. I guess they are trying to win. I'm the one who's kind of running at this point. I don't know where I'm standing. There I am. I nearly did that correctly. I'm just gonna have to draw this. There's no way I can deal that much damage without dying myself. Unless they seriously mess up, of course. Yo, this handicap though, it really does make gameplay more interesting.
That's a draw. Alright, let's switch these camera perspectives. All right, come on, just a little more. There you go, one remaining. Oh, they just dodged into that. This handicap makes things so much more difficult. It's crazy. All right, get over here. They have to be running low. So it's just a matter of time before I finish them all. Come on, get over here. Get over here. What seems to be the issue? Are you scared and you're dead? Alright, we're back. And I'm using my handicap as always. At least as long as I don't forget to use it, then of course I'm cool. They've already gotten my teammates. My teammates didn't do anything for me. Should I turn it off just so I can win? No, that's a coward's choice. I'm not gonna be a coward. Yeah, that's not going to last forever. I don't know what was going on there. I was missing attacks and they weren't moving. I can't tell if I hit them. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot. My handicap. I need to turn it on to run away. There you go, it's on. Shoot, they took advantage of me taking time to turn that on. So difficult to actually land attacks and you can't see how close you are to someone. Like when you're in first person, you can really measure it. When you're in outside of it, it's much more difficult to measure how close you are to a player. Just one more hit and they'll go into the next phase. There we go.
They got- okay, I got him. I got him. That was so close. That was so close. Dang. Alright. It's time. Oh no, they're gonna get off? That's unfortunate. So I'm gonna kill them real quick. But now they're gone. But for those of you watching, go ahead and try using this handicap. It makes the game actually difficult. This game's way too easy without the handicap. You can just maintain a 0% loss rate. With this handicap, you're actually in danger of losing sometimes. Yes, sacrifice yourself to me. And now you shall perish. Just like your allies did. Oh what, you're you're gonna you're gonna killer's knife me? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and killer's knife me. Yeah. What's the plan gonna be here exactly? Gonna dodge all these? Oh no, you aren't, eh? Alright, gamers, this person's playing revenge, you know the drill. When you face revenge, you just kind of walk up and kill them. Ooh, do they, do they have FL? They do, that makes this so much easier. I was worried that they would actually uh, not have upgrades and I'd be in some mild danger. But nope, they have upgrades, so I'm not in any danger. Oh, you want to play that game? Yeah. Go ahead, do it again, do it again, jump! Oh, what's wrong? You can't jump? Did somebody take away your jump? Oh, isn't that so unfortunate? I feel so bad for you. Ow! No jump for you. Burn up some stamina for me, why don't ya? No, no, no. Go in the corner. Oh, no. Guys, they used the spin move. Oh, no, guys. They used the spin move. This person's burned up a significant amount of stamina. Yeah. I hate that split second my guards messed up when I'm switching perspectives. I wish there was an easier way to do it. At least I can kind of control it when it counts. Yes, please, use the spin. That makes things so much easier for me. Still though, I would never stop using- <gasps> They messed up their own attack, they used it on their own head. I win. And you see, that's why you should use this handicap. Things were so much more difficult for me because I was using it. If I wasn't using that handicap, I would have beaten him with my eyes shut. Oh no, I'm facing people with low wins. I don't even need to switch my camera perspective to annihilate him. I'm just gonna annihilate him. Okay, I'm getting mighty annoyed, so you're gonna die first. No, no, get over- no, no, no jumping. I've already disabled your jump. You don't get to jump. Jumping is a privilege I'm not allowing you to have. Get over here so I can stab you to death more. 
Oh, you're trying to get away. No, 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 no. You ain't getting away. No, no, no. You are not. I am going to massacre you. Oh, you hear me? Oh, you you think you can run away? You think this is the game where running's allowed? No, 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 no. I'm stabbing you to death, and you are going to like it. You hear me? You hear me? Oh, no, no. You think you think you can run? You think this is a, a walking simulator, mate? Yeah, this, this is a simulator game, right? Got yeah, basically similar. No, I'm gonna stab you, and you are gonna like it. And now, he's dead. All right, these guys. They're probably they have so few wins that I'm gonna have trouble having difficulty against them. So I'm gonna handicap myself further. I'm not allowed to use WASD. I'm just gonna stand in place the whole match. So as long as they don't run up to the part where my face is, I can not physically stab them. Hopefully that should be enough to properly, you know, add difficulty to this. Surely they won't just mindlessly walk into my attacks, right? I won in less than a minute. Okay, get over here, Dust. I need to stab you once, then twice, then thrice, and then maybe thrice. Get over here, Dusty. I haven't put my knife in you yet. You know, if you stopped dodging, that'd make it so much easier to commit homicide. So could you, you know, stop dodging? Darn it, you're making this too easy. Handicap activate. Really, you think that just because you're holding down spacebar, I'm not good enough to stab you? Is that it? Is that it? You don't think I'm good enough to stab you because you're holding down spacebar? Spin slash. And now I've had enough. Your jump's gone, and so is your integrity. Alright, I've had enough.